everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do this beautiful border. It's a four row border and we will do each step together. Again you can use one colour for the whole border or like me you can use a different colour for each row of it. It's completely up to you. It's nice and simple once you get into it but gives a really lovely finish to your work and anybody that's wondering the main body of this blanket is my cluster stitch so there is a tutorial on that on my channel already I know it's it's a nice popular one everyone seems to like that but that is what the main body of this blanket is so we're going to work the border together but your very first row for your border I'm not going to do with you because I have a separate tutorial on that already and it is just a row of UK double crochet. So you just want to go all the way around your work following that tutorial which I obviously will link below and then you want to meet me once you have completed that first row of UK double crochet all the way around your work. So I'm just going to do mine very quickly around this little granny square. Okay, so I've done my row of double crochet all the way around and I have slip stitched into the top of that very first one to complete. So we're now going to move on to row two. Do so you want to chain three? And that is going to count as a treble. You then want to add an additional chain one which will count as our chain space. You want to skip one double crochet and do a treble into the next so yarn over insert into that one after you've skipped and do a treble chain one skip one and treble into the next chain one skip one and treble chain one and skip one and you're going to do that all the way along your side and I will meet you when you get to your first corner space because the corner is slightly different so if you want to pause now because I'm at my corner already so that is how I'm looking so far so I'm at the corner and I've just I've actually ended on a treble but I'm not going to chain one I'm just going to go straight into my corner space doing two trebles so one and two I'm then going to do a chain two and two more trebles back into that corner space. One and two. And because I want it to be the same as this other side, I'm going to do one treble into that very first double crochet after the corner as well. So that gets us around the corner nicely without any curling. And then again, you're back to your chain one, skip one and then treble. So if you want to pause or rewind and work that all the way around and then I will meet you when you get back towards where we started from. So treble, chain one, skip one and treble. And then in the corner you will do a treble and then two trebles, chain two, two trebles and then a treble in that very first stitch after as well. Sadly the camera wasn't recording when I finished this round and I didn't realise and I've obviously already slip stitched and everything. So when I got back towards where I'd started from just here, I just slip stitched into the top of the chain three that we started from. That's all I did. I did my treble, my chain one and then I slip stitched into the top of that treble. So I'm going to change colours now. You'll want to start in the top of a treble. You don't want to start in a chain space, you want to start in the top of an actual treble. So I'm going to start in a stitch here. If you weren't changing, if you were not changing colour, then you'd just slip stitch across into the top of your next available treble. So you're just going to yarn over and pull up and you're just going to do a little chain one and we're going to come back to that later on. And we're going to skip across this first treble here, we're going to skip over that one. So we've come up from this one, we're going to skip the first and into the top of this treble we're going to do a cluster stitch. So you want to yarn over, 
insert into the top of that treble, yarn over and pull up, and yarn over, pull through two. And you're going to stop there, yarn over, back into that same space, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, and you'll be left with three loops on your hook. You want to yarn over and pull through all of those loops, and that is your first little cluster. Chain three, and then into that very same space again, you're going to work another cluster. So yarn over, insert, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, and stop. Yarn over, back into the same space, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through all three. Chain three and then one final set of clusters into that same stitch. So yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert, yarn over, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. So that is your first little set of clusters. You then want to skip this next treble and you're going to slip stitch into the top of that second treble along. So insert into that stitch, yarn over and pull through both. So that is your very first set of clusters. So that's how that should be looking. I'm actually at my corner now, <laughs> which is typical isn't it? Um, so I'll work the corner with you, however if you weren't at a corner you would simply, after you've slip stitched, you would skip the next treble and then work a whole new cluster exactly the same way as we did here into the next one along. But I'm actually at my corner, so what I'm going to do for my corner, you just want to do a double crochet into each of the top of those three trebles. Two and three and then into your chain space I on my blanket I worked double treble stitches and I'm going to do those now so I want to yarn over and I'm going to insert my hook but I'm not going to do it into this chain two space I'm going to do it from the chain space from the row below so I'm going to go into this space here so I've yarned over twice. I'm going to go into that stitch from the row below but I'm going to come out behind those stitches and my cream, my chain two space is behind my hook and then I'm going to yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. I'm going to do that again, so yarn over twice, back into that space and out to the other side pushing my chain two from the last row backwards. Complete your double treble, chain two and then I'm going to do two more double trebles in that same space and making sure that I'm pushing my cream chain two space towards the back. So in and out, pushing your chain two space to the back. And complete that double treble. Oops. So that there is my new corner. And you can see, you can see the chain two space is at the back here. So we've not worked around those stitches, we've left them towards the back. And then again into the top of those three trebles after the corner you want to work a double into each of those three. So one, two and three. So that is my first cluster and my corner completed. And I've done my double into the top of each of those stitches. And now I'm going to skip over this first treble here. 
and I'm going to work my clusters into the top of the next treble. So I'm going to do my cluster, chain three, back in the same stitch do another cluster, chain three, and one final cluster all into that very same space just like we did before and then we're going to skip this next treble and slip stitch into the top of the next just like so and then again skip one and work a cluster into the top of the next so if you want to carry that all the way around you will probably want to pause the video and work that so your cluster skip one slip stitch obviously if this wasn't your corner you would skip one and cluster skip one slip stitch etc and then when you get to your three trebles you want to double crochet into the top of each of those three trebles and then do your corner just as we did this first one here and then double into your three trebles and then you will start again with your skip one and your cluster and you want to work that all the way around and that is where I will meet you in just a minute. So I'm just coming back towards where I started from and I've actually been quite lucky in the fact that I've got one treble left to skip and then slip stitch into that very first one where we started from. However, if you did have two trebles left just skip over both and then slip stitch where you started from. It won't it won't really make much difference at all. So you're just going to slip stitch into where you started from, chain one, and then I'm going to change my yarn again now. I'm just going to pull that out and pull tight. So that is now how mine is looking and I'm ready to attach my third and final colour and I'm actually going to attach it into one of my chain three spaces on these clusters. So I'm just going to tie that on and then I'm going to start by doing a chain one and then into this cluster we want to do three double crochets. Remember that's UK double. So that's one, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, that's two and three and then into the top of your cluster you've almost got two stitches on your cluster but you're just going to work it into that first one so one into the top of your cluster and then three more into your chain three space you're going to do a double into the top of that next cluster and then you should be where you slip stitched. Now where you've done a slip stitch, we're going to do a front post treble crochet around that treble. So where, where we've slip stitched down, you want to yarn over, insert your hook behind that treble so it pushes the treble out towards you. Yarn over, pull up, you'll have three loops. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two and that just gives you a front post treble it just makes a nice detail around there and then at my corner so I want to do a double crochet into the top of those three double crochets so one two and three now if you obviously had another cluster to go straight up into you would work your front post treble, let me just go to this one, you would work your front post treble and then you would go straight into a double crochet on the top of that first cluster. You would go straight into a double crochet and then three double crochets and you would work it in the same way as the first. So I've done my double into the top of those three double crochets. Now we're at our double trebles. So you want to do a double into the top of each of those. So you've got one and two. And then in this chain two space here, I'm going to do one, two, 
into three double crochets and then one double into the top of those next two double trebles and then into the top of those three double crochets two and three and then I'm back to one of my clusters so around the corner I just did one double into the top of those three from the last round one into the top of each of those double trebles and then three into the corner space and now I'm at my cluster so I'm going to go into the top of that first cluster and do a double and then three doubles into that chain three space a double into the top of your cluster and three in your chain three space and then again into the top of that final cluster and then again I'm at my slip stitch so there's my slip stitch and that is the treble that I did it around into so you want to do a front post treble around that treble so you're going to yarn over go around the back of that treble stitch yarn over and pull up yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and then again I'm at the start of my next cluster so I want to do a double into the top of that cluster and three into that chain three space and you're just going to continue doing that all the way around so you may want to pause or rewind when you get to your corners and things and just make sure you do your corner correctly but I will see you now once you get back towards where we started from I'm just coming back now to where we started from and I've done my double into the top of this cluster here so now I just need to do a front post treble around where we slip stitched in the last round and then I need to do a double into the top of that first cluster and then I'm going to slip stitch into that very first stitch that we did just here there we go and I'm just going to slip stitch so yarn over and pull through both. I'm going to do a little chain one, a snip off and pull that out. That now is how your border should be looking. You should have your contrasting colour over all of your cluster stitches and around your corners with your front post treble crochets just giving a little bit of extra texture in that final round. So obviously that is how it looks on a completed blanket and I think it really is a wonderful finish. It's simple but really effective as well and excuse all the ends, I've obviously not sewn any of them in yet. But I really hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial for this lovely border and if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up and to subscribe if you haven't done so already and I will see you for another tutorial very very soon. But thanks as always for watching. Bye for now.